Most of the time when doing research, the sources used to acquire information are print sources, such as books and articles from journals, magazines, and newspapers. However, movies, television programs, music, and internet programs are useful sources of information and memorable quotes. If used, researchers need to cite these sources as well as their print sources. First, you need to note each of the citation elements for audiovisual material. For most productions, the producer is credited with the overall production, although it may be based on a previously published work. In the same way, the producer of a music recording is responsible for the album. If the artist is different than the creator, be sure to note their name as well. The release date and title of the work should be identified along with the production company. If a production is accessed on the internet, you need to provide the URL as well. For motion pictures, also called movies, begin with the producer and director's names with their titles in parentheses. Then put the year the movie was released in parentheses. Title is in italics, only capitalizing the first word and proper nouns followed by the medium in square brackets. This is followed by the country of the production company, a colon, and the name of the studio. Sound recordings, whether music, orations, or other type of audio recording, follow the same format. Begin with the writer or composer, then add the year in parentheses. The title of the song is in standard title format with only the first word and proper nouns capitalized. The name of the artist is in square brackets and is only included if it is different from the writer or composer. Otherwise, this is omitted. If the source is a single work that is part of a bigger work, such as one song from an album, put on, then the title of the bigger work in italics, and the medium is in square brackets. The location of the record company is followed by a colon and the label or the recording company. Add the year in parentheses if it is different than the copyright year. Audio video productions available on the internet, such as YouTube videos and TED Talks, begin with the creator. The date of the recording is the date used in the citation, in parentheses. The title of the video is in italics, similar to print titles. The retrieval statement with the URL completes the citation. The URL may need two or more lines, just make sure you don't add spaces or punctuation. That will change the URL. Allow the word processing system to recognize where the line breaks can be in the URL then accept that in the hanging indent format, even if the formatting looks a little funny. Remember, do not change the URL. Audiovisual materials are often useful sources, but many times they are posted online without permission of the creator. Always make sure they are legal productions and posted online following copyright guidelines. And remember to assess all sources for credibility before using them for research. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm available.